What is up guys, Metallic Design here, bringing you a new tutorial on how to make decent text. Um, most people, like I've seen people send backgrounds and stuff over Skype and they're, they're alright, but the only thing that's lacking is the text and like the styles and stuff. So, so I'm going to be showing you how to do this and if it goes too long then I guess I'll do two parts. But the first thing is you need to download Cinema 4D, either R12 or R13. I have R13 right now and, and that goes alright. So. First, go and do that. Find out how to download that if you don't have it. And the second thing is, you need a good Lightroom. Um, I'm horrible in Cinema 4D, like with making Lightrooms and stuff. Like I just can't do it. I like I've tried so much, so many times, and I just can't do it. So this is rated Lightroom. Um, sometimes I use this, and sometimes I use um, Errors one, but this I reckon this one's just better. It's, the render time's a bit longer, but it doesn't really matter. So I'll put a uh, he I got it off a video a giveaway that he done. So I'll put a link to that in the description and go download that if you want uh, in the comments. I mean yeah, leave a like on that video as well since it's, it's like a free Lightroom which is hard to come by these days. So yeah, the first thing you're gonna do is when you get the Lightroom, it's gonna I think it says rated or something, but I just changed it to my name. And um, for the front, for the front I put caps on one centimeter. Fill it cap one centimeter object two hundred, and then the f uh, the back I do one point one centimeters, and the same. And usually with the back I do a black, and the front I do a color. So with this you just double click and click on the color, and I'm just gonna make it an orange. Actually. I'll do a purple. Fucking hell. Alright, and to change the text, this is what I do anyway. You just highlight both of those, Control C, Control V, so you can change this up. I'm just going to change it to tutorial. And most of the time, you really need to do it in caps. With, if you use like a certain text, so I'm going to change the text. Um, if my comp doesn't crash, to Gotham bold and then italic. All right, so I'm just going to delete the metallic text. Now I'm just going to put this in the middle. And to resize, you click on this square up here, and I'm just do that. When you do that, you usually have to um, you have to change the caps and stuff again. Yep. Now this is the easy stuff, guys. Once you get into Photoshop, that's when everything pretty much happens. So I'm just gonna move that there. Now what you gotta do, you go, you click on this uh, far right thing here that's got the movie thing and the little like settings icon in the background. Click on save, and then just click on that square there. I'm just gonna render it to my desktop. Let's call it tutorial. Doesn't really matter. Then you click on the middle render button here so it renders the text and I'm just gonna pause the video so I'll start the render okay full screen I'll um, I'll just pause the video while this happens it takes about 10 minutes so be a bit alright so the render is just finishing up here now um, one more square to go alright alright there we go so just click out of that. Um, yeah, I'll just close this may as well. Come out of Photoshop. You go file. I'm just gonna go new. 1280 by 720. And I'm just gonna put a dark grey background in. One 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 one. Fill that. Go file open. Go to the file. Uh, go to where you 
rendered your text, so mine's on my desktop. I'm just gonna drag that in. Alright, so as you can see, it's basically on this canvas now, so what I'm gonna do is hold down Shift and Alt and just drag that down to make it a bit smaller so it fits on the canvas. I'm just gonna put that in the middle. Alright, so it, it looks alright there, but it can look a lot better. So what we're going to do first is double click on the tutorial text layer, go to gradient overlay, change the scale to 90. And now you click on the gradient bar, change this to a dark grey, I mean, yeah, like, like a kind of darky lighty grey, and make this a bit. So the lighter side is 9B, 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 and the darker side is 3B, 3B, 3B. So I'm just going to go OK, and then change the blend mode to overlay, change the style to reflected, and then go reverse, and I'm probably going to have to... Alright, so I'm going to put the scale at 115. So, blend mode overlay, opacity 100, reflected, reverse, got the gradient, angle 90, scale 115. Now you go to the drop shadow, change it to normal, 100%, turn off use global light, distance 0. So I'm going to put the size at about 20, probably 30, and then the spread at about 15. So I'm just going to go OK there, and I'm going to make a new layer, and here I'm just going to select a white, go to the brush, put the hardness at 0, flow at 50, and the size to about 100. Yep, alright. So I'm just going to zoom out here a bit. So what we're going to do first is we're going to shade the top and the bottom of the text, so actually with the black, sorry. So you just select the black and just click about, hold down shift, click and drag all the way across. Now I'm going to do that with the bottom. So I'm just going to hold shift, click, drag across. Now I'm going to make a new layer, select the white do the same for the middle. So hold shift, click, drag. So now what we're going to do is select the black two, the two black lines, change the blend mode to soft light. Sorry, I selected hard light for some reason. Do the same for the white layer. Now we're just going to muck around with this uh, opacity. So I'm going to go to about 25. I'm going to go to about 25 of that as well. Alright, so now what we're going to do is hold down Alt, click on between the black lines and the text till the clipping mask comes up and click at that, and the same for the other one. Now for the white, I might tone that down just a bit. Yep, 15. So I'll make a new layer. Now here you're going to get the ellipse tool. And I'm just going to make a oval like that, like that kind of. Now you click on the brush and just rasterize the layer. That's what, that's just the way I do it. I don't know why. Now with this oval, you're just going to get it about, probably just about there. Yep. And then you go... Hold down control and click on the oval layer, the thumbnail. So it comes up with that line around the edges. Click on the eye so it hides it. Make a new layer. Get the gradient tool. Select the white. Now click at the top of the text and drag to the bottom. Sorry. <laughs> Go uh, select, inverse, then do the same thing. I always forget to do that. So there it gives you um, pretty much just a nice overlay gradient. 
So we're just going to delete uh, this layer, the overlay, so delete that. And then create a clipping mask again. And go, maybe, I'm just going to select overlay and go to 50%. Now you can drag this down a bit if you want. So it's like that. Um, yeah, that's looking pretty good there. We've gone past 10 minutes, but I can pretty much go up to 15. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold shift, click on the top layer, hold shift, go all the way down to the bottom. I'm just going to duplicate, right click, merge. So I'm just going to hide all these bottom layers here. And I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to hide all those, uh, the first text that we've done. Just going to put it under the background. Just so I have this main text here. So what you do once you get it in a, like on a background or something, I go, I just put, add some textures to it. So I go to my textures folder. I've got a lot of shit in here. Um, the best textures I would say, would be grunge wall, shiny metallic texture, and that one. So how I selected all those three, I hold down control and I just select uh, multiple at a time. Actually, I go that, that, and that. Since these are all pretty much like they're shiny, so it st gets this uh, text standing out a bit. So I click open, and it'll open all those three files. Now what I'm going to do for every file is I go Control Alt Shift B makes it black and white, and I'm just going to drag that onto the text. All right. So with this one, you put it in the middle. Hold down Shift and Alt, and then just drag out. Now you create a clipping mask, change the blend mode to overlay, and I'll go probably 25% since it's a bit pixelated. So I don't need that anymore. Go to the second metallic texture. Since it's already black and white, I don't really need to do that. So put that in the middle. Create a clipping mask. Sorry. Go to overlay, change the blend, uh, change the opacity to about 50. Close that as well. Now I've got this last one. I'm just going to copy and paste this. And with this, it's a bit big, so I'm just going to scale it down a bit. And go edit, transform, rotate 90. So it'll just does that, and you can always extend it out a bit more. I'm just going to change the blend mode to overlay again. Put it at about 50%. Create a clipping mask. Probably 25. Alright, so that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, 13 minutes is alright. So once you've done that, you select the top hold down shift and select the text, right click, merge, and that's pretty much it. You've got uh, your text, and I've got, got the layer styles here. So there's a bit of a difference. Um, <clears throat> I'll probably put, uh, the I'll put the PSD for this up at 50 likes since all my, like my, my recent video, sorry, I've been getting a really good response, like I can't believe how many likes and stuff I'm getting and views like really fast. So the PSD for this will be up at 50 likes, like I said. So thanks for watching guys, talk to you later. I'm going to do is go to Beverly Boss, and you can't really see the difference in this, but you it gives it a little bit more difference, I don't know.